Hello, everybody, and welcome back to Final Fantasy VIII. Hi, I'm Rufo, playing this game for you. Woo! Now, at this point, you might be wondering, what exactly is different in, with the time-compressed world? Well, it turns out that something pretty major I is done. You, you actually cannot reach places where you would where you would be able to interact with other people. Namely, towns, <laughs> which makes a lot of the of the uh, of the subquests undoable at this point. However, if you didn't pick up the the uh, Tom Barry King or or Odin, you can still enter the Centra ruins and do that. So if you didn't have Odin already at this point, then you cannot get Gilgamesh. So, uh, given that Gilgamesh can be kind of fickle. Yeah, that may or may not be a bad thing. So what exactly keeps you from going into these areas? Well, they all have this force field about them. This force field doesn't hurt us, it just keeps us from entering. When you actually uh, run into it as Squall, then, then uh, you do get to see a ripple effect on the field. But yeah, it doesn't hurt you. But we need to make our way to the Ragnarok, which is on the other side of this forest and this mountain range. Fortunately, there is a pathway through the mountain range. Whoa. In fact, we should be seeing the path now. There it is. It's as soon as the mountains load up. Yeah, I could have I could have made the trip on on foot, but uh, that would be long and boring. But there's the Ragnarok! Hooray! Let's hop aboard. And with the Ragnarok, we have access to anywhere to anywhere that air uh, that we wish in the world. And, there's a fourth portal over there, too. However, there's also something else on board the Ragnarok. Hello, Zoo! What are you doing here? Oh! You guys want the card game! How'd you find the Ragnarok? I thought we left it park or breaching Lunatic Pandora. Right. No explanation shall be given. Oh uh, yeah, pretty much. Well, it's nice of Quistus to give the explanation. Though, uh, Squall actually gives the same explanation. Yay? I really wish you would have you would have just let some die in the time compression, but whatever. And we can play Quistus in the airlock. This is not the airlock. This is the loading bay. <laughs> That's hard. I don't know if they're okay. All the all the sea C group has about has at least two lines of dialogue. Let's come in here and quiet the music down a little bit. Whew. Now there's no one in the in the observation deck, and our party's up at up in the cockpit, of course. But uh, magician Joker here is probably the most useful. Now the card club, the CC group, are not going to be here if you haven't played if you haven't done that that side quest and beaten Quistus. But if you have done that, then, well, if your GFs are, are trained to call to call shops, then Joker is our shop. Huzzah! But of course, since we can, it's not that useful. Over here we have Knight Club. He doesn't talk. He never did talk much. 
And here in the airlock is where we can actually play Quistus. To do so, she must be in your party. Just turn around and talk to her. <laughs> this is the only instance in the game where you can do this. See, we can still run through her and such. No, let's not. Let's go and see more of the car of the CC group. Down here we have Princess Diamond. Oh, what happens when the time gets compressed? Yeah, like they say. So, um, we shouldn't dilly-dally. Ah, uh, good morning to you, ladies. Over here in, in this uh, side room, we have a save point. We also still have the draw point, though, uh, it, though it's, it was a one-time use point. And he's either Knight Spade or he's Prince Spade. I remember. Yeah, that would be a problem. Do you have anything else to say? Doesn't look it. And over here we have Jack. Hey Jack. Give me some insight. Hooray! Thanks, buddy. And, of course, we have Queen Heart, or Zoo, over there. Not that that means too much. Let's actually get on with things. There it goes. What do you guys think? Oh, uh, that's true. Or will be born, as the case may be. Yeah, but the world seems kind of bleak when it's time compressed. That's true. Not yet, Irving. Now, as a fun point of note, if, Self if Selfie is not in your party, then she's flying the ship. But because she's in my party, Zell's flying the ship. If Selfie and Zell are in your party, then Quistus is flying the ship. Silly little details. Now let's travel. Because there is one more person that around that we can play cards with. That person is over here at, in an area which we didn't visit before. I'm awfully good at finding it with the Ragnarok and not being able to land. <laughs> Around here, somewheres, is... Is a random encounter. No, no, no. You clear off. Now, what I'm actually looking for is the landing site for the escape pod from the Lunar Colony. And here it is. Now, this was here ever since, ever since the uh, Lunar Cry. And earlier, Piet would have been here cursing his luck, and if you hadn't gotten Alexander from him, you could get it now. Here, however, we have the Queen of Cards. How's your travels going? Do we wish to challenge her? Well, we could, but uh, she wants to play with whatever set of rules she wants. And I really don't feel like putting in what few rare cards I have left at risk. 
because I still want to put those through the mill. I just haven't needed to yet. So enough of that. Back aboard the Ragnarok. But yeah, that's where Irving and Piet actually landed. Now, over here at Tears, uh, Tears Point is still available, so if you didn't get the Solomon Rake from the Doom Train, you can still get it. In fact, you can actually get, ev get uh, all the GFs that, uh, that were in dungeons, except for Cerberus. If you didn't get Cerberus back when we invaded Galbeda Garden, then you're just never going to get him. Ah, hmm. oh, it's not going to let me land. Maybe it'll let me land if I push the right button. Nope. <laughs> not that I was expecting to be able to land, but, you know, just want to test. So the Tomb of the Forgotten King is still open, so if you didn't get the brothers, you can still get them. And, uh, it's kind of a bad eight, really. So let's park this thing and actually investigate this portal. Where's it lead? Well, where else? Except the portal wasn't there earlier. After all, if it was, we would have just gone through it to get the Ragnarok. Aha! Well, where do these other portals go? This portal leads us to the beach, near the, the Grandidi Forest, which is, which is the large forest where the Chocobo Sanctuary is found. So Disc 4 is the first place, is the only time when you, where you can reach that forest without the assistance of a Chocobo. Not that you can do anything there. So let us to the center continent where where we which we used to go and get the Ragnarok, but what's about this one? This one takes us to the Galbadia continent. Around near where the missile base used to be. Alright then. So if you still need to gain abilities on your GFs, Cactar Island is still available. As well as the Jumbo Cactar if you haven't gotten him yet. And the islands closest to heaven and hell are, are also available if you wish to level grind. As for me, I think I'm gonna I think I'm going to challenge myself to do something I've never done before. Which is beat the game pre-maximum level. Obviously, I failed to get there before. I failed to reach this point before Earth Squall hit maximum level, but no matter. We will go into Ultimicia's palace next time. Till then, later.